Hey everyone, it's me, Lauren Lowe's Beauty from YouTube. Um, I'm coming to you with a, whoa, a very, very late, um, let's see, July and August favorites. Um, I just wanted to show you, I know I'm like a, a million years late right now and it's really sad but um, I've been like really busy school started um, I'm doing really well um, gotta fix this bow right here Let's see. so school started um, love it love it love it love my classes um, been hanging out with my boyfriend amazing times as always and just really you know doing what I have to do each day going to work and all that stuff so I just wanted to come with like two months of favorites um let's see so I guess I'll start out with um new favorites like absolutely new I got some maybe a week ago or so um there are three new nail polishes um and I saw them from 11th gorgeous beautiful swatches on their fingers just amazing colors in general so I'll start out with the ones that's on my fingers. Uh, let's see, that looks like it's just a really pretty burgundy color. They're very dark colors. They're right about that. Um, I got they're like this right here. It's a Maybelline Express Finish 50 Second Nail Color. This one is in Berry Fancy. Looks amazing. Love burgundies, burgundy eyeshadow. It reminds me of this burgundy eyeshadow right here see gorgeous and I wear this all the time whenever I want an extra burst of color um, pop of color I mean and then I got um chick 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 whatever chocolate and it's basically this one's like a matte but then this one right here is um trying to get the lighting good is like um I don't know if you can see that can you see that it's like a very deep brown almost black with um kind of reddish sparkles really like that and then um 11th gorgeous was talking about how they sold out of the black one and I can always use a um Hold on, I really want to find that. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay. So, I haven't talked about this black nail polish ever. Or actually, both of these nail polishes. But the one the one that I did get is um, called Classic Black. Really like that. I was in need of a new black nail polish. And this is the one that I always use. I've had this for so long. I got this at like... <laughs> I don't know, <clears throat> um, a place where you get incense and stuff like that. Um, so this is called Ruby's Costume Co. Black Magic, and this is the best, and I mean the best matte black nail polish I've ever used in my whole entire life. It's gorgeous. It's so extremely black. I'll show you the brush on it. And sadly, this is a local a local nail polish only they don't even sell it anymore where I live so that's really sad but um ooh, what's going on with my uh, um, okay so sorry about that if crazy music was on but anyways um so this is like the most amazing black nail polish I've ever used in my life like I already said and unfortunately it's basically local or you can look it up um, online maybe you can find it on eBay or on website it's Ruby's Costume Co Black Magic so it's amazing but I'll show you the wand on this Ooh, it's really nice I like it <laughs> so I love these nail polishes they really do dry quickly so if you're one to make mistakes kind of be careful so, 
Um, then I have my bouquet eyeshadow by Stila. And it's just gorgeous. Look at that. I've already used a little bit of it. Really nice. I'll do, ooh. I'll do a little swatch of it too. It's so creamy. Like, I love Stila eyeshadows. They are amazing. Like, they're so silky, so velvety, and so soft. Love them. One of my favorite eyeshadows. So that's the color right there. Um, and then I've been loving my lip butter by Corez. Um, and I've used not a lot of it, I'd say, but I've used, you know, some of it. This one's really nice. It's in jasmine. I love this stuff. I'm wearing it right now on my lips. It kind of, like, tones down your lips and makes them really kind of nude, pinky nude, without having to wear a drying lip lipstick and stuff. Um, I've been loving Sachet Vite. You know, I've used not a lot of it, but I've used it quite a lot of times. Um, so, yeah. I've been loving this makeup bag by Betsy Johnson. Love it. Like, this is the makeup bag that um, I bring to Kyle's house when I sleep over his house for, like, um, a lot of days or a couple days. Um, great sleepover um, makeup bag. Got that at TJ Maxx. I was given this um, by a makeup artist that my mom knows. Um, it's an official Bobbi Brown, excuse me, Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. It's so amazing. Like, it's what I use for, um, my Black Track Fluid Line. Just amazing. It's so soft. It's just so precise. Love that so much. I've also been loving the Hello Kitty Limited Edition by MAC uh, 217 Brush. I've been using this for bouquet. Really like these together. It's just a nice blending all over the lid color brush. Um, I'm just going to put this back so I don't forget about it. Put these back to keep. Okay, whatever. So, and then I've been loving my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden really nice and they have a new packaging by the way at sephora.com and it's basically like a squeezy tube of this it's just the original but I will be buying that too and it's limited edition sadly but basically I think it's limited edition because I had a reason um it's just double the size basically and I had a reason I know it's limited edition for some apparent reason but I forget um, I've been loving these shadow um, palettes by Stila. I'm getting all five of them. Can't wait till they come um, new on Sephora.com. For now, they only have these two. But I know um, at StilaCosmetics.com, they have the Tokyo one. But it's just crazy shipping. So I'm just waiting for Sephora to gain and um, my points and stuff. I've been really loving Germ X or any type of hand sanitizer. Um, use quite a bit of that as you can see. Um, it's just amazing. It kills germs. And seriously, I haven't been sick for like crazy amount of years or months or I would say two, one to two years. Like really bad sick because I've just been constantly learning to use hand sanitizer whenever possible wherever possible because it really does um, kill germs and stuff. I've been loving this walk of shame. It's so dirty and used. Look at that. Like the packaging is so worn out. It's well used. Um, and this is a walk of shame um, like trio. It's my everyday bronzer. It's sun bunny light. And then I use these occasionally. This is silk teddy and totally toasted. I've been using these like crazy. Um, it's so dirty and well loved. I love this so much. Um, and then, oh yeah. Um, since it's getting into the um kind of cooler seasons and stuff like that, I use it sometimes in um in the summer, but mostly like when it's getting kind of cooler. It's a very warm scent. It is cashmere vanilla jasmine. It smells like vanilla, jasmine, just very warming. I wear it all the time in Christmas, and it smells so good. It's a happy scent, and it's by Victoria's Secret. You may be able to find this on the site. I don't think it's on there anymore. It was last year's limited edition, 
um, scent, but they might be coming it out with it again. Um, but check on eBay if you really want to see this. It's a beautiful scent, and definitely, if you can get it, then I would smell it, and um, if you have the chance, and definitely buy it if you love it. Um, the, the last two things, actually, I showed you this palette, the burgundy color. Love that. Um, and then my last two are scent shots from um, Candles by Victoria. Candles by Victoria is my overall like favorite within this month of September. But um, the ones that I haven't lit yet but I love smelling and I can't wait to burn is Cherry Cookies. Um, is amazing. And then I have Bunny Slope which is so fresh and really sweet to smell. So those are my July and August favorites. I hope this wasn't too long for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.